Well hello guys, Norbell73 here and yes as you can see by the poster um, we are doing about Insidious uh, let's go all the way down from the makers of Paranormal Activity and Saw Insidious but I don't know why SNI is like highlighted red but yeah guys I'm going to like tell you the plot as I do as always but I'll have to just read it off Wikipedia because um, there's quite a lot to process to tell you it all and if you don't want to be spoiled, well, this is in the video for you. And then, and then after the end, I just see my personal fault. And there is a quick little plot for Insidious 2, if any of you are interested, because there is a sequel coming out this year. September, Friday, the 13th in America, I think. But yeah, let's go, anyway. <clears throat> so, let's go. In the beginning of the film, there is a shadowy old woman that is seen inside a house while the inhabitants sleep. Rene and Josh Lambert have recently moved into a new home with their three children. One morning, Rene looks through a family photo album with her son Dalton, who asks why there are no pictures of Josh when he was a child. Rene reasons that he has always been camera shy and dislikes taking photos of himself. One day, Dalton hears something in the attic and goes to investigate. As he enters inside, he tries to climb a ladder to turn on the light, but falls when the ladder cracks. As he falls to the floor, he seems to stare in horror at the darkness, as if looking at something terrifying. Shaken, he is put to bed by Ren and Josh and told not to in the attic because it is awful in it. The next day, Dalton does not awaken from his sleep. Ren and Josh rush, rush him to the hospital where the doctors say he is in a inexplicable coma. Three months later, Dalton has moved back to his home while I was still in the coma. Shortly after disturbing events begin to occur, the first when Rene heard a voice in the baby monitor before shouted, I want it now! A bloody handprint on Dalton's bed, a dancing boy wearing 1920s clothes, and a strange but frightening man in their infant daughter's bedroom. Rene becomes more disturbed when their youngest son, Foster, they've got three children by the way, says he doesn't like it when Dalton walks around at night. Rene tells Josh about the events and the family soon moved to another house. In the new house, the supernatural events continue to occur, but soon become increasingly sinister. Lorraine, Josh's mother, recalls having a strange dream of going inside Dalton's room in the night and seeing something standing in the corner. And when questioned, what do you want? It replied, Dalton. Subsequently, Lorraine sees a red-faced figure standing behind Josh and Dalton and is then violently attacked in the bedroom. This prompts Lorraine to contact a friend, Elise Rayner, who specialises in the investigation of paranormal activity. The family, Elise and her team, enter Dalton's room. And Elise sees and describes the figure to one of her two assistants who draws a black figure with a red face and dark hollow eyes on the ceiling of Dalton's room. The same figure that Laureen had seen before in the house. Elise explains to Ren and George that Dalton has the ability to astral project while sleeping. Now it's been doing it since he was very young. The reason that Dalton is in a coma state is because he is basically trying to far in the difference spiritual world. He believes the projections are dreams, basically. And has consequently became lost in a land called the Further, which is a bit like hell in a way. A place for the tormented souls of the dead. While Dalton's spirit is in this world, he has left nothing but a lifeless body. The tormented souls create another chance of life through Dalton's state, while the demon wants to use Dalton for a malicious intent. However, for spirit to consume the body, a period of time and energy are required. Skeptical at first, Josh later relents when he discovers Dalton has been drawn pictures which resemble the demonic figure Elise described. They run a session to try to communicate with Dalton, where the demon uses Dalton's body to fight the group. Along with three other spirits who want Dalton's body after the session, Elise calls Lorraine and the two reveal to the couple that Josh also can astral project. I was terrorised by an evil spirit during his childhood. <laughs> Lorraine shows them pictures from Josh's childhood, revealing the shadowy old woman, the same from the beginning of the film, right behind him. 
The more thorough getting of Josh, the closer the shadowy woman gets to Josh until she is inches away from him, explain his fear of photos. Elise suggests that Josh should use his ability to help find and help return Dalton's soul, to which Josh agrees. The prayer to ask a project to find his son. Elise sits him in a chair and places him in a trance. Josh suddenly awakes after to find that he has astral projected seeing his own self sleep in the chair as well as the others in their room. He perceives that sign misty and is intensified the to dog. After encountering a boy who points him back towards the house, he proceeds over to encounter her family, who was shot by a bizarre smiling female member of the family, and that part creeps me out a lot, guys. And I mean a lot. Josh makes his way to the attic where he discovers the red door drawn in Dalton's pictures. Before he can enter, Josh is attacked by the violent man seen by Renee in their daughter's room. Once defeating him, Josh enters the red door. Inside is the fervor and the red faced demon's lair. The sovereign Dalton is chained to the floor and Josh frees his son, but the demon has discovered Josh's presence and attacks them. In search of their physical bodies, Josh and Dalton flee the demon who is pursuing them. This before the two awaken, Josh leaves his son to confront the shadowy old woman who appears to be inside his house. As he shouts for the girl away from him, Strew now isn't afraid of her. She retreats into the darkness. Moments later, Josh and Dalton both awaken just as all the spirits vanish. With the family now happily reunited, Rene, Dalton and Lorraine chat in the kitchen as Elise and Josh pack up from the long night. Josh hands Elise the pictures from his childhood and actually takes them from his hand. She senses something and takes a picture of Josh. He promptly goes into rage, claims she knows that he doesn't like getting photographed, and he strangles her to death. Renner hears Josh yell and goes in the room to find Elise dead and Josh gone. He searches for Josh and finds everyone is gone, the house dead silent. She looks and comes across Elise's camera, seeing the picture of, in it of the shadowy old woman. It's revealed that what Elise saw was Josh's old and day hand and nails, similar to the old woman, implying that she had possessed them. Josh then puts his hand on Rene's shoulder, saying, Rene, I'm right here, and horror enveloped in her face as she looks behind her. In a post credit scene, the shadowy old woman can be seen blown out the candle, and the screen fades into total darkness. So yeah, guys, there's the story, and I love that movie. It's amazing. Definitely some creeps in there, especially I find the dancing boy creepy, and especially the family. The family probably is the worst, especially... Like they just smile like throughout this, they get they get shot by what seems to be like their own daughter. They had another daughter. So yeah, and they just all smile after all that happened and the woman smiling. She must have had something wrong with her. So yeah. So if we go down guys, we will get a sneak peek of the plot of Insidious 2. Or shall I call it chapter two, my apologies. If you do have these spots, go away now. Okay. So, the plot. It's not much. The Lambert family, now fully reunited, stayed their grandmother's home for the vacation, leaving after the hauntings were over. However, as frightening events occur, including a mysterious voice that whispers on the baby monitor, a smiling woman in a white dress, and voices in the hall, they begin to try and ward off a malicious poltergeist, now begin to inhabit Josh's body. So yeah, guys, it looks like it's Josh's turn to be in like a coma this time and there's the photo guys it's a uh, like a kid in a rocking chair or not like a baby walker which is in the trailer and it will take what you love most um above insidious 2 like there so yeah guys it looks very interesting so yeah i love this movie of course it's amazing but yeah guys i'll have another video to do tomorrow since i'm not going to my grand because they're away so yeah, thank you for watching and goodbye.